Hey guys, what up, Lights Up King? Hey, today is all about how to clean your griddle when it looks like crap. We just got done with a hibachi cook and we got all that sugary syrup on there. So we're gonna show you guys how to take care of that. Watch this. Whoo! All right, don't look at this griddle and think this is how I keep it. You guys know that I clean as I go, but there are some tips and tricks along the way that help you clean your griddle fast. When you guys get this stuff and your sugar hardens back up and it just gets like really, really hard, the good time to do that, right? I mean, you can't clean that in the sink. All right, we've got two different scenarios we can work through. You've cleaned your griddle uh, right away. You're done cooking. You got your food out. You haven't even eaten yet. Your griddle's up to temp. Everything's hot. Or you decided to go inside, have dinner with whoever you would like to, and you come back out and your griddle's already cooled down. If your griddle's cooled down, you need to bring it back up to temp. I'm still on low, not a big deal. It takes about maybe 10-ish minutes, but you want to be able to get it hot. That re uh, gets the sugars going, and you're allowed to, you're able, not allowed, you're able to clean it a lot easier. You got to bring your griddle temperature back up. All right, just kind of make a steam bath. Right now I'm just working on the utensils. See how much better that is? That's a good one right there. Okay. I am gonna get these dirty again, but I just wanna show you. See how much easier when that stuff gets steam on it and moisture, how much easier it is to come off. All right, that gets you the idea of how to clean your utensils while you're cooking, okay? Second, you just wanna get all the debris off. You get as much of debris off as possible. Don't worry about your nooks and crannies, your sugars and all that. Just get the debris off right now. See those sugars once again. Imagine the closest thing I can give to you when I try to teach somebody, I try to use crazy scenarios. Imagine making candy, right? You bring candy up to a certain temperature. It's supposed to be a softball, hardball stage. That's in a nutshell, basically what you've done. You've added um, an oil, which is butter, and you've added sugar, the brown sugar and the honey, right? So you bring it up to such a high temperature that if this stuff uh, cools down, it's extremely hard to get rid of. It's like the idea of softball candy. So the way to counteract that when you're cleaning your candy equipment, all that stuff, you've got to have that extreme hot water. And that's what the griddle does when you put the water back onto it. Once it's heated back up, it creates that steam effect and all your sugars now start solidifying and it's a lot easier to work with. Start liquefying, not solidifying. What did I say? All your sugars start solidifying. That's Dang. what it does when it cools. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Now you're starting to earn your keep a little bit. Now here, it is uh, extremely cold. We're like 17, 22 degrees, something like that. In my first video, when I said how to clean your griddle, I stand by every, I went by and watched it before uh, we did this video just to make sure I'm still on the same wavelength of what I was thinking. Honestly, I'm still on the same wavelength. Clean as you go, clean as you go, clean as you go. I very seldom use water. If you're going to use water, I suggest the, qu the quarter method, okay? One, you're not going to douse the whole griddle. You can't clean the whole griddle at once. Two, you're not going to drop the temperature of the griddle so low that you're scared about warping. You got to remember this, this uh, water is extremely cold. Your griddle is extremely hot. Okay, so I like to work in corners. Now what you're doing is trying to get the sugars off. The burnt stuff, all that nastiness. And just work it to your grease trap. Now you see why I say if you're gonna do hibachi and you can get away with it, only use half the griddle because now we'd be almost done.
if you got stubborn spots, the steam helps. You might have to go back over the same spot twice. If you don't feel comfortable doing this with the steam, there's um, heat proof gloves. I know my wife's made the comment before. She gets worried because it's so hot. That's dribbling right there at its finest. They do make gloves for it. I'm also looking at the color of the water when it steams. You know, that dark brown color is something you don't want. See those sugars right there coming up? That dark brown? That's a good telltale sign that that's dirty. You've pretty much taken care of the whole griddle by this point. You got all the sticky stuff off. You're gonna use a paper towel, kind of do the same thing. You don't have to worry about necessarily your four corners, but it's gonna be so much steam and the water's gonna evaporate so fast, you might as well just stay on that same method, okay? So what I'm doing now is using the paper towel as kind of like an abrasive. Make sure you get your corners. You can still reuse the same one. See how we got a little bit more dirt coming up? That's why we do it. You'll know when your paper towel bites the dust, it just becomes, it, it, there's just nothing left of it. So. Yeah, I might've used the wrong word, but you see how much clearer water is right now? That's a good, good telltale sign right there. Now we're getting all the dirties off of it. Not dirt, the dirties. There we go. We're clean now. We are clean now. You probably want to make sure there's plenty of room in your grease trap too so it doesn't overflow it's a fair point i did clean my grease trap before we started today for that same reason thank you must have noticed i did that for the most part your griddle's clean okay i like to bring mine i i kind of consider this like a hard cleaning i know we didn't use any abrasives or any like uh, chemicals or anything like that but to me this is a pretty much of a hard cleaning the sugars take a toll on your griddle and so anytime you have to do it like this, I, it's just my preference. So what I'm doing now, I'm just allowing the heat to build. Then we're gonna add a, make sure all your moisture's off, especially after you do that. Don't forget about your edges on the outside as well. It's a good time to do it. When you take your paper towel around your griddle, you can feel for that stickiness if it's still on there. I think we did a good job of getting it off. I don't feel anything that's grabbing the paper towel. So just a light coating of uh, avocado oil. Rub that in. Be careful that you're not pulling your oil because this stuff gets extremely hot. If your griddle is 450 degrees, so is your oil, and it can burn you. Light coating of oil. We're going to bring it up to a, a smoke point for about five minutes, 10 minutes maybe, and then cut the heat. So I've got that, and I'm just gonna take the oil around the napkin, paper towel, and just get those edges really, really, really good. And inside too. All right, that's it in a nutshell. So like I said, I'm gonna wait till it comes up. It's gonna start smoking. That means you bring your oil up to a smoke temp. About 10 minutes later, the smoke's gonna start to dissipate. Subside, dissipate. Get, thank you. Maybe. Which means you're seasoning your griddle. So it's basically just like a one quick coat of seasoning. And that's it in a nutshell. So we've basically taken something that most people struggle with and I hope that we've done something, um, speed up the process. Remember, just cut it in corners, 
work easy, get all the food debris off first, then worry about your sugars, and then come back in and uh, dry it off. Make sure it's dry, and then go ahead and re-season it. All right, guys, there you go. We have a join button down below. It's a membership program. It's just way you guys can help with the channel. And we thank each and every one of you for taking time to do it. So check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook is where we talk about cleaning our griddles, talk about how to do this, how to do that. What's your idea about this? And we just go back and forth and have a good time. Thanks for watching. Don't, don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace.